Hello. Good day. Yes. I hope you are having a very nice time over there. So in this uh, video, in this class, we are going to look at uh, uh, continue from where we stopped in log reading. So in our last class, we we'll look at the definitions, we we'll look at some of the laws and the approach. So we're going to continue from there. But before then, let me just sensitize um, you or some things. One may ask, what are the advantage or the importance of log reading in mathematics? Very, very, a very good questions. Now, one of it is that it reduces the whole process of multiplications and division to mere uh, addition and subtraction. So if you look from the law, see, multiplication is addition. Division is what suppression. So, two, it also reduces the whole process of um, powers to mere multiplication. What I'm trying to say here is this: if we have, for instance, uh, let's say 12 raised to the power 50, see, find this it's very difficult. But if you apply log rating here, see log uh, 12 50. You see, from the one of the law that we just proved in our previous, uh, previous uh, video class. You see this one become log what? Log 12. Immediately you obtain log 12, you multiply it, and your answer is as good as it is. Okay, that is one of the importance of uh, some of the importance of uh, log rating. So in this class, we're going to continue from where we stop. Uh, we stop at the fourth law. So we're going to look at the fifth law. We say that if we have log uh, 1 to base b is equal to 0. Then 6. Uh, we also look at this uh, log uh, a b is equal to log of uh, a to base c all over log b to base c. This is what we call change change of of base change of base. Then the seventh law, uh, which is not. Uh, we we'll have b raised to our log x uh, base b is equal to x. So this are what we're going to look at in this class. We're going to look at their proofs. Uh, the proofs are very, very important as well. So it enables us to know it so that when you see question, you quickly know how and where to apply them. Okay, so we're starting with this. Uh, the proofs. Proofs of uh, loss of log. Let me use one. Fifth one, we are going to look at log 1 base b is equal to 0. So we say suppose, we say well, suppose uh, that log 1b is equal to u. <clears throat> like our assumption and since this one is base b we cannot say that this is log 1b is equal to log b b uh, raised to y u because b b is 1 1 times u is u isn't it? correct okay so here we say log log 1b is equal to from the one of the law you bring it uh, you, you will come back and it become log oh Right, so this is log b b u i uh, with uh, with log with log so when i tell you with log it simply means log 1 b is equal to log uh, b b u so that this one will go with this so that you see that uh, here we have 1 is equal to b this value. From the, the law of indices, in order for us to prove our fact here, we can say since this one is b, we can say this one is this side is b raised power zero is equal to b raised power u. Because we know that anything raised power zero is one. The fact that why we use b here because what we have on the on the right hand side is b. So so here you put what? You put Equator with powers. 
the pulse. So zero is equal to u because already we have said that uh, uh, u is this. We have said that what u is this. So log log one b is equal to what zero is equal to u and u is what zero. This is uh, the proof uh, to five. So let's go to uh, uh, to to six. Hmm? We see if we have log um, a b is equal to log a to be c all over log b to be c. So first, like we said, can see that is suppose let log b log a b is equal to let's also assume it is uh, let us assume it is u. Hmm? So here we can say we can quickly say that log a b is equal to log because of the fact that this one is b uh, b u. K, B, B, U. So here, we can, this will go with this, and we have that A is equal to what? B raised to power U. Hmm? So here, we're going to say, take log of both, both sides to, since we're using LC here, to base to base C. So we're going to say this is log A is C is equal to log uh, B raised to power U base C. Is that understood? Yes. Now we can say that this is log uh, A base C is equal to this U will come here in form of power U log uh, what? Log uh, B C. So in order for us to move very fast, we can say divide both sides by divide what both sides because we are trying to make you are uh, the subject of the formula. So we can say divide both sides by log b c. So if we do that, this becomes log a c all over log. Uh, b to be c is equal to u log b c over log b c. So this we we'll go with this, and your u becomes log a c all over what log b c, which is what we have stated here. Mm -hmm. But in case you want to change. I'm going to take another proof of this, another proof of this one, because we change to another base. But, but assume, assuming we continue from here, assuming we want to, we, 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 we from here, from where we, from here, uh, uh, from here we say A is equal to B raised to power U. And we want to change to one of one of this one, one of them, one of the log I think we want to change say take log because take log of both two sides to base A. I we want to change it to base A. So here now we now see this is log, it becomes log A A. Because we log what? Log B raised to u a. So here, you see this place, since I've taken this one to be this, it become one. It's equal to so this become n log a b. I mean u. So that your u become one over log. A, B. So what I'm trying to, so to do here is that if we have log A, B, 
And if you want to make your A to be base, your answer will just be one all over all. Log A, B. We well, change the base now. It's in base B before now, but it's nice in base A. So if you want to change to this one, it become one all over. The base will not change. This one will become the log, and the, uh, the log will become the base. So that's one way we can we can also do it. Because what we are going to do a uh, practical example now, this is the one we are going to use. Okay. Okay, the next one, quickly let's finish the very last one. Yeah. The very last one. Nice uh, seven. Okay. This one says uh, if we have b raised to our log sb is equal to x. I want to show whether it is true. So now say let's let b raised to our log sb is equal to u. <coughs> hmm. So the next thing we do is say take because look at the power here, that is the power here. So we use the power you know, to do this operation. We say, take log of both sides, take log of both sides to base B. This is this one and this. Hmm? That's what you must do. Okay, so here now if we do that, we will now be log B. There's one B here, B, then raised to our log X B is equal to log U B. I see this one here. Look at this log B B is one. Everything here reduced to what? Reduced to log S B is equal to log what? Log U B. Everything reduced to this because this log B B is one. Hmm? So this one will just drop to become this. Is that understood? Okay. Yes. The next thing is to what? Equate the base. Oh, now mean equate. Equate log. Equate what? Log. So if we equate log, we're like simply saying that log SB is equal to what? Log uh, BU. This will go with this. I'm just saying divide both sides by log b. That is what I mean. So you now see that s is equal to what u. So anytime you see a log written of this nation, uh, what you usually do is to say that your answer is just hmm, the the number of that log you are asked to find. So if it is of this uh, nation, if it is of what this nation for having d log. Uh, x, this is the base. So your answer must be what? Must be this one. Be this. So these are some of the laws. Our problem. In our next operation, we are going to be carrying out some basic uh, operations in logarithm. In what? Logarithm. So please stay calm. Enjoy this video. No, they are very explanatory. Please do uh, take your time off. Help me to subscribe and also help me share to other group. And I also want comment comment from you. Uh, in those areas you feel that I've not uh, done very well, please uh, feel free to send message across to me. Thank you and have a nice time.